Dani Alves is the most decorated player in the history of football with over 40 trophies. But nothing come without a cost. Dani suffered a lot in his old days to become one of the best players in his position. Let's take a look at his early life. In a long interview, Dani Alves told his story. In the first scene, I'm 10 years old. I'm sleeping on a concrete bed at my family's tiny home in Wazero, Brazil. The mattress over the bed is as thick as your little finger. The house smells of wet soil, and it is still dark outside. It's 5 in the morning, and the sun has not risen, but I have to go help my father on our farm before school. My brother and I walk out into the field, and our father is already out there working. He's got a big, heavy tank on his back, and he's spraying the fruits and plants with chemicals to kill the bacteria. We're probably too young to handle the toxins, but we help him anyway, this is just our way to survive. For hours, I compete with my brother to see who can be the hardest worker, because the one who our father decides has helped him the most gets the rights to our only bicycle. If I don't win the bicycle, I have to walk the 12 miles from the farm to my school, the walk back from school is even worse, because the pickup football games in our neighborhood will start without me, so I run the 12 miles back and then just keep running right out onto the pitch. I look at my father as I leave for school, and he's still got the big tank on his back, he's got a full day in the field ahead of him, and then at night he's got a little bar that he runs to make extra money. He was a hell of a footballer when he was young but he didn't have the money to make it to a bigger city so he could be seen by scouts. He wants to make sure that I have that opportunity, even if it kills him. Now my father is driving me to town in his old car, so I can try out in front of some scouts. The car is a stick shift, and it only has two gears, slow and slower, I can smell the smoke. Now I'm 13 and I'm at this academy for young footballers in a bigger town, away from my family. There are 100 kids packed into a small dormitory. It's kind of like a prison. The day before I left home, my father went into town and bought me a new football outfit. He doubled my wardrobe, because I only had one outfit to begin with. After the first day of training, I hang the new kit on the line to dry. The next morning, it's gone, somebody has taken it, that's when I realize that this is not the farm anymore, this is the real world, and the reason they call it the real world is because shit is real out here. I go back to my room, and I'm starving, we train all day, and there's not enough food at the camp, somebody stole my clothes, I miss my family, and I'm definitely not the best player here. So I make myself a promise. I tell myself, you are not going back to the farm until you make your father proud, you are going to be a warrior, you are not going back home, no matter what. When I was 18, I signed for Sevilla through one of the biggest scouts who was in Brazil looking for young talents. In just a few seasons, we go from being a relegation club to lifting the UEFA Cup twice. Before I walk back to the dressing room, I always say the same thing to myself, shit, I came from nowhere, I am here now, it's unreal, but I am here. In 2015, my father was there in Berlin to see me win the Champions League final for the very first time. I remember after the trophy celebrations, we got to hand over the trophy to the people who had helped us achieve our dreams. I passed the trophy to my father, and we were both holding it, posing for a photo. He looked at me and said, my son is a man now. And you know what? He was crying like a baby. That was the greatest moment of my life. If you like Donny Alves' motivational story, tell us in the comments. If you liked this video share it with your friends and follow us for more great videos.